Alrighty, adventurers. So, I sat here and ate lunch. Had a tuna fish sandwich, some chips, some water. While I was digging around in my pack, I pulled a muscle in my back. It really hurt. I uh, took some uh, Advil. So hopefully that will help. Hopefully this uh, pulled muscle doesn't slow me down too much. But, uh... North Carlson Pond is my next site, so uh, I think that's about six miles up. I should be able to do that, no problem. So uh, we'll assess the situation when we get there. Anyway, had lunch. Uh, charged up my phone a little bit. I think it's time to go. It's been an hour, maybe a little over an hour, like an hour and ten minutes. A Caribou Pond campsite. We're heading out. It is 1225. And we're going up a steep hill. I think the last one for the day. So the trail here climbs up to the top of a ridge and then it follows along a ridge for a little ways, a couple miles. I'm hoping that we get some nice views up there on the ridge. This is what I was talking about. This is awesome. Just amazing. You know, it's weird. When I'm hiking along in these green tunnels, I feel like the colors are popping a lot more than when you look at the overlook. There's some yellows and stuff, but there's not really any reds or anything. When I'm hiking on the trail, I, I see that stuff all the time. Weird. Sure is beautiful. Man. This is even better than I expected. I knew I was going to get some views up here, but those are amazing. This is awesome. Now, I know I just took lunch, but I'm taking like a 15 minute break here because this is awesome. <sighs> More lollygagging. You know, for, uh, I am 100% positive I've never done these, you know, three or four sections of the Superior Hiking Trail on the north end. But something about Caribou Pond campsite and then the trail up this hill and then seeing this viewpoint, it seems very familiar to me. It's almost like having deja vu. Like I've, I, I feel like I've been here before. But at the same time, I'm 100% positive I haven't. I don't know, maybe there's another section of trail that's very similar. Oh, this breeze coming up here, this, this is nice. 75 degrees, this clear blue sky, look at this. The wind blowing up here. Oh. It's amazing.
Trail alert, trail alert. Someone has lost a toe sock. It gets really warm hiking in these open areas where you're exposed to the sun. Oh. But every once in a while you get a nice cool breeze. You can feel it just came off the lake. Oh. Amazing. Okay, I'm just passing this little pond here. It's just a beautiful spot. Nice breeze coming through here. Nice log to sit on. So I decided to take about a five, 10 minute break here. Dry my back off a little bit. Beautiful. All right, the ridge here has opened up a little bit. Warning us some views. Very nice. More views. Look at this nice big pine tree right here. reached the Carlson Creek trailhead which is just up the hill on the other side of the creek. The bridge is currently down but easy enough to cross. I am going to the campsite in a mile. Then we're going to take a break. We have reached Carson Pond, North Carson Pond, the campsite. Um, we're going to take a long break here and um, eat some snacks. And I'm thinking I might just stay here. The next campsite is North Carson or South Carson Pond. Um, that is 2.8 miles down. Which uh, it seems easy enough, but... I did pass somebody and she said that there's no water. She said she was collecting water dripping off moss. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do that. Um, there's a nice creek here, Carson Creek right over there. Um, nice water source. So I think I might just stay here. I, I don't know. I'm really hungry. I'm feeling kind of weak. Um, Plus, my backpack is a little heavy. I weighed it, it was 25 pounds. I took some of my food out because I originally was planning on seven days. But I didn't take, I didn't like cut down on my snacks. So I still have like seven days worth of snacks and whatnot. I'm just, I'm just a little heavy. So it's 3.30 right now. I think I'm just gonna Call it quits for today. Camp here and uh, continue in the morning. It's a nice little campsite here. Nice opening in the sky. Hopefully it'll be a nice night. We can get a nice view of the stars tonight. Okay, so made some three cheese macaroni, some backpacker pantry never tried this before. I'm gonna give it a shot. 
All right, folks. Camp is all set up and I, I ate my mac and cheese. I refilled my water. Everything's all ready to go. I just need to hang my food. And I'm good to go. A couple, uh, three guys showed up just now. So they're setting up their camp. I figured I'd uh, get away. Here's a little stream. This is Carlson Creek. This is the uh, the water source for this campsite. Pretty little creek. Well, probably just gonna sit here for like an hour or so, soak in some of the energy. And I'm gonna turn in. Good morning, adventurers. It is about 7.30. There's a beautiful little prairie behind me, a little marshland. <sighs> beautiful. The uh, Carlson Creek campsite is I believe on the other it's just on the other side right over there beautiful night look at that the moon's out I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not but it was a beautiful night nice and very cool got a little chilly last night um, had a lot of visitors uh, I think I, I think I mentioned that um, three people showed up, a group of three. But then right after I filmed that, telling you that a group of three showed up, I went back to camp and there was three more people. <laughs> so uh, it was kind of a little crowded campsite last night. Um, had a fire, a little chit-chatting. It was nice. Uh, I was kind of bummed I didn't get my nice peaceful campsite alone, but that's okay. It happens. Uh, so today, I thought about just having my wife, because uh, I'm about to cross a road. I'm about a quarter of a mile. I think it's 0.4 miles from the road. I thought about just having my wife pick me up from there, but she's not gonna be able to get here until this afternoon. So I got a good five hours. I think I can make it to John Lake Road or something Lake Road. Can't remember the name of it. So hopefully I can at least make it there, or maybe I can make it a little further to uh, Judge C. Magny State Park. Alright, we'll see how far we get. Here we are folks, Carlson Pond. Very beautiful spot. Been kind of hiking alongside of it for five minutes. Wow. I 
All right, here's South Carlson Pond campsite. I was at North Carlson Pond campsite last night. This one is 2.3 miles from the other one. We got good old fire pit. It's a decent little campsite. I shouldn't say a little, it's a kind of a big campsite. Nice big fire ring, some benches. Quite a few spots for tenting and for hammocking. It's a Doniker. A good old Doniker down here. Like another spot for a tent. Looks like this one goes back a little further than the other ones. That's nice. There we are. A good old Superior Hiking Trail Doniker. All right, so 2.3 miles in at South Carlson Pond campsite here. I'm gonna take a good 10 minute, 15 minute break here. I didn't see it before, but right through there is a beaver, beaver hut. So what happens, these big clearing areas. So remember I said, Carlson Pond was a big beaver dam. So what happens is usually these areas are just forests just like the rest of the you know rest of the forest with a creek running through it but then a beaver will build a dam on that creek. The water backs up and creates a pond and all those trees die because they're flooded. So that's when you come into those big marsh areas like over there. I don't know if you can see right through the trees there. It's a bunch of pine trees that are all dead. It's because they were flooded. And then they drown. They die in there. It's just left standing there. And then the beaver goes and chops them all down and adds to his dam. And then like I said, a storm came, washed out the dam. And now it leaves this open prairie. It'll eventually fill in, either fill in with uh, more trees or a beaver or dam up the creek again and refill it with water. Nature in action. All right, folks. We uh, made it to Tom Lake Road. I hiked the 1.3 road walk miles. Hazel Camp, 0.4 miles. I'm gonna stop there, take a break. Camp 20 Road, 2.6 miles. That's our final destination. I thought Tom Lake Road would have been a good spot to maybe have my wife pick me up. But when I got here, I realized that it's not really the type of road she'd be fond of driving down. So we're gonna go 2.6 more miles down to Camp 20 Road. And I know that road is a little more substantial. That's like a full size dirt road. So we'll be good there. 2.6 miles to go. Awesome. Just broke out into a nice spot. There's lots of reds. Beautiful. Two taps. Drop the spores. Well, look what I found. 
a little Dyneema rock bag for throwing your your uh, bear line up in the tree. It had rocks in it, but uh, oh, that's right, because the Hazel campsite is right here. We're at the Hazel campsite, everybody. A little shower again. We're here in uh, Hazel campsite. Let's give us a little, give you a little tour. All right. Well, start here in the middle. The good old fire pit, stone ring fire pit with the uh, traditional three-sided bench. Most of them have a three-sided bench. Some of them only have one or two. Um. The tent pads here don't look that great. This one's okay, but it's kind of weird. It's got this hill down on one side and it's got this big root right in the middle. You got some good space right in here. With a couple divots and a couple rocks. Not a lot of spaces here. We got uh, some uneven ground back here. Um, I don't see a lot of good spaces for hammocks. And I don't know where the water is either. Looks like there might be a hammock spot right back there. All right, I looked around. I took like a 10 minute break here. I looked around, I couldn't find any water source. I don't think there is any water source here at Hazel. I thought there was a creek nearby or something, but maybe I'll run into it down trail. Anyway, just took a nice break. I got two miles left. Um, it is 11.15. Uh, my wife said she estimated she was gonna be there at 12.30 to one o'clock, so we'll see if I beat her or not. Nice little opening here. Get some sun. Been in that green tunnel for a long time. Should be coming up to a small creek here soon. Alright, nice little creek here. I don't know if you can see that. Nice little trickle of a flow. Splash some water on myself. It's very cold, it's nice. It's only about, let's see, my thermometer says it's 70 degrees. Um, it does feel a little warmer than that, but that's probably just me from hiking. It is a beautiful day though. Very mild. Well, uh, I'm a little ahead of schedule, so uh, I'm going to hang out here for like 15 minutes. Just to waste some time. Alright, passing the second second of the two creeks. It, uh, mar it's marked on my map, but it doesn't say what the name of it is. Right. Probably only about a quarter mile to the end of the trail. I decided to uh, sit down on the side of the road here and just wait for my wife. Probably got like 10 minutes left. But I couldn't have asked for a beautiful, more beautiful weather these last couple of days. Uh, 55 to 75 the whole time. Partly cloudy. Even a couple nice little showers in there. Little sprinkles. I had a great time though. Uh, the northern terminus was amazing. Probably one of the best overlooks I've seen on this trail. The uh, that whole first section was kind of meh. It seemed like a very highly logged area. It was kind of just green tunnel, no real overlooks. There was two mediocre overlooks. Um, nice campsites. Um, the second day had some amazing overlooks. That was an amazing section. 
um, almost non-stop overlooks for a while, for a couple of miles. Um, and then the la this last section here was kind of went back into Green Tunnel again. Anyway, I had a lot of fun, enjoyed myself. Also, there was that bear encounter the first morning. I didn't get to see it, but I'm pretty sure it was a bear. I don't know what else would be crashing through the woods like that. Um, elk and deer and moose and stuff are usually pretty quiet. They, they know how to move through the woods. Bears usually make a lot of noise. They don't. They don't care. They could just go crashing through the woods. But I really enjoyed myself out here. Got a big section of uh, spear hiking trail done that I haven't done before. And check that off my list. Thank you all for joining me. Appreciate it. Hope you join me right here next week on Happy Trail Backpacking. Thank mm -hmm. you.